welcome to this abide meditation tonight our sleep story is about God's passionate promise our story reveals how God pours out his spirit upon all his people you will hear the comforting message from God's Word but before we begin get comfortable breathe deeply inhale God's peace as you relax you feel God's amazing love for you as you sink into your mattress your breath becomes deliberate relaxed your muscles go from being tight to soft like cotton close your eyes imagine God's holy light washing over you picture yourself giving him all of your burdens your thoughts and concerns breathe in his hope exhale his love the Bible says that God will pour out his spirit upon all people that sons and daughters will prophesy and young men will see visions old men will dream dreams with that join me as we explore this passionate promise God has given us when you receive Christ into your life his spirit lives inside you however that is just the beginning God longs for you to understand the depth of what this means to experience his power to move in the miraculous to extend his grace and to shine his light into the world ask God to open the eyes of your heart let his light flood you with truth feel his heavenly touch his love filling every part of your being as you do this breathe deeply inhale his love exhale your burdens and cares keep breathing slowly and steadily as you listen to my voice and feel the presence of the Lord with you embrace the stillness around you listen for God in the silence experience the rest you have longed for dear Heavenly Father I am ready for more of you I am grateful for every prayer you have answered every blessing you have bestowed on me the very life you have given me I also know there is so much more for me to learn so much more of you to experience the Bible says that your people perish for a lack of wisdom make me wise God make me more like you forgive me of my sins show me where I am missing the mark I want to be everything you created me to be so that I can one day hear well done my good and faithful servant help me to fully grasp what your promises are to me I love you I trust you deepen my trust as you deepen my sleep tonight in Jesus name I pray amen your eyes are closed your head rests gently on your pillow you continue breathing deeply and slowly relaxing 
The sound of the wind blowing eases your soul. You think about the dreams and visions that God has promised to give to his people. You long for that. You ask God to show you himself in your dreams. You ask God to show you himself in your dreams. I'm so glad you asked for that, says a faraway voice. Come. You look around wondering who is talking to you. No one is there, but you feel a presence, a warm glow growing inside you. You step outside and begin to walk slowly down a path. On one side, glimmers of sunlight shine upon a river flowing with crystal blue water. Tall trees full of life and bearing fruit you've never seen decorate the bank. Brightly colored flowers of purple, red, orange, and pink burst through the ground. The other side of the path is full of flowers and trees as well. But there is no fruit on the trees. The flowers are wilted, the colors fading. Some are tangled in weeds. The river is stagnant. You come to a fork in the path and pause. You listen for the voice that beckoned you out of bed, but there is only silence. I'm still here. You look up, and even though you don't see anyone, you realize this is the voice of God. I pour out my spirit on everyone, but not everyone recognizes me. The two sides of the path are examples of what happens when you believe in me and when you try and do things on your own. When you spend time with me, listen to my words, pay attention to the signs, wonders, dreams, and visions I send you every day. You will survive every storm life brings. Every day you will get stronger. When you share my love with others, you will experience miracles. You will do great and mighty things in my name. God motions to the other side of the path. When you do things the world's way, when you don't follow in my footsteps and listen for my voice, life is harder. You don't have the peace I promised. I created you to soar on wings like eagles. I am always blessing my people with signs, wonders, visions, and dreams. But some are too busy to listen. Others have let their hearts become hardened. Some people have an idea of me, but that idea is only a part of me. They like to keep me in a box. They dismiss the supernatural power, the very nature of me. Therefore, when the rain comes and the storms of life hit, they aren't able to experience the fullness of me within them. It is my deepest desire that all of my people experience the fullness of me. I send them just like I am sending you tonight, dreams, visions, signs, and wonders to stir their spirit. I want to renew your heart and revive your soul. I want you to walk in victory and in power. This is my will, my purpose, and my plan for you. You hold on to God's voice. It leads you over a steep hill. Mist fills the foggy air. 
you pause to wipe the dew from your eyes. You hear the laughter of children. You take one more step up and stand still in awe. Majestic mountains surround you. People of all ages, colors, and nationalities dive into breathtaking turquoise water. Their smiles exceed their faces. It's as if they are diving into life. They throw their heads back, laughing and rejoicing in glorious glee. There is a white beach. The sun shines brilliantly. The sand feels like silk. Children sit at a small white picnic table while adults read with them. They're shaded by enormous trees draped with Spanish moss that looks like tinsel hung on a Christmas tree. You reach down and dip your hand into the water. Instinctively, you pull your hand back. The water is electric, powerful. It feels like love. Are you in heaven? You've never felt like this before. Love penetrates through the air. It radiates from the heart of every person. You feel it in the water. You want to stay here longer, but like a soft breeze, you feel yourself drifting away. You now find yourself in a forest full of tall, thick trees. There is very little light. You're on a path, but sometimes that path is hard to see. You squint, trying to see through the darkness. You smell the sharp scent of decomposing leaves, the wetness of a recent rain. The gravel path under your feet seems firm enough, but not being able to see concerns you. You take a timid step forward. When you find your feet still firmly on the path, you take another step. Then you feel the presence of the Lord beside you, taking your hand, gripping it firmly yet gently. You can trust me, he says. I will not let you go. I know the way perfectly. I will walk with you through this darkness. I will walk with you through this darkness. Your heart is calmed. Your breathing slows. You begin to notice the light filtering through the swaying branches, the birds calling to each other through the leaves, the small yellow flower poking its way through the thick underbrush. God is showing you beauty where you thought there was just darkness. His presence has shown the light on this dark path. You are filled with peace. Once again, you are swept away to a green, lush valley. The sun shines brightly. There is a small stream running swiftly through the center of the valley bubbling crisply over small stones. It's idyllic. Brown, gray, black, and tan horses graze peacefully. There are no signs of fear in them. You breathe in the scent of warm grass, feeling the softness under your feet. You sit and wait for something. And then beside you is the Lord, his eyes soft and kind. I lead you beside streams of water. I provide everything that you need, he says. Bright red birds race by, fluttering and chittering, happy. 
The birds of the field don't worry about what they will wear or what they will eat. They have everything they need. He turns and looks at you, and the kindness and love that you see in his eyes bring tears to yours. My beloved child, you have everything that you need too. In the next moment, you find yourself back in your soft, warm bed, in your room, in your home, safe, surrounded by peace. I pour out my spirit on people, says the soft voice from above. I bless them with dreams and visions so that they may know my love, my power so they will remember my desires for them while on this earth and to remind them that there is so much more to come will you share the dream I've blessed you with tonight the sound of your own voice crying yes yes fills you for a second you wonder where you are you must have been dreaming but it felt so real it was real whispers God I made a passionate promise to you when I said ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and the door will be opened for you You asked me to show you what it was like to experience more of me, and I answered. Now, it is up to you to believe. You're still for a second longer, lingering in God's presence, basking in His love. Dear Heavenly Father, help this dear one sleep peacefully tonight. May you bring sweet comfort. Thank you for revealing yourself in our dreams. May the silence of the night bring revelation and clarity of thought, rising in the morning refreshed, rested. Thank you for your word, your passionate promises. They are a love letter to me, and I am forever grateful. Help me be open to all of your ways, God. Align my will with yours. Help me shine your light into the world. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Relax. Rest in the holy presence of God. He is with you. He loves you. He surrounds you with his peace. Now, please allow me to pray over you. Holy God, I come before you and stand in the gap for this beloved person tonight as an intercessor of prayer for them. I ask for comfort, peace, and rest. Lord, please help this listener know that you are always within reach. No matter what is going on around them, you are never far away. Please assure your child that nothing can separate them from your love. Nothing in heaven or on earth. I pray that you will cover them with the presence of your Holy Spirit, the Counselor, the Comforter, 
the spirit of truth. And as you cover them, Father, fill their hearts and minds with the assurance that you are with them. Give them such peace that they will sleep soundly tonight. Draw them into your everlasting arms, your arms that are always within reach. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. It is no coincidence that Psalm 119, the longest chapter in the Bible, is found precisely in the center of the scriptures. Center your thoughts on the word of the Lord tonight. Center your breathing on his holy presence. In and out, breathe deeply of God's truth, love and peace. In our chapter tonight, we will find rich truths about who God is. We will find holy comforts for those of us who are lost and searching. And we will find consoling passages that reassure us of God's constant presence. He is not far away. He is not a distant God who cares nothing for his people. He is near to those who cry out to him, and we are always within his reach. Heavenly Father, thank you for being near. Your constant presence is what we need most in this life. Your love, peace and goodness are what we seek. Keep us, Lord, safe, secure and protected. Draw us to your side tonight. In Jesus' name, Amen. This psalm is written as an acrostic poem, which means that each of the stanzas begins with a letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And while the author of this chapter is unknown, we know that the author and perfecter of our faith is the one who spoke the scriptures to his people so that his words would be recorded for all generations. Hear the voice of the author and perfecter of your faith tonight. His word is trustworthy and true. Inhale the truth of God's word. Exhale all other thoughts. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your living word spoken over us tonight. Your words are like manna to our dry and weary souls. They pour out like honey and are sweet to the taste. We hunger and thirst for your righteousness. Open our ears to hear and our hearts to receive. In Jesus' name, Amen. Take another deep breath in and let it out. Release the events of the day and allow them to fade into the background 
as you open your heart to receive the living word tonight God is within reach at the mention of his name he is with you whisper the name of Jesus Jesus allow your breathing to settle into a soft measured rhythm in and out in and out and now we hear the words of the psalmist placed intentionally in the center of the Bible Psalm 119 verses 169 to 174 let my cry reach you Lord give me understanding according to your word let my plea reach you rescue me according to your promise my lips pour out praise for you teach me your statutes my tongue sings about your promise for all your commands are righteous may your hand be ready to help me for I have chosen your precepts I long for your salvation Lord and your instruction is my delight dear one be comforted within his reach rest in the understanding that he is God his promises are true his spirit teaches you all good things the righteousness of his commands lead you help you and instruct you in the night He hears you. He is not far away. He cares about everything that concerns you. Remain in the presence of the Lord as I pray. Heavenly Father, please search the heart of this dear child tonight. Set them free from all worries fears and anxieties by the gentle guidance of your spirit lead them to trust you please reach through the darkness and capture everything that keeps them from resting in you please hear the cry of their heart and reassure them that you are near In the name of your Son, Jesus, I pray. Dream now of heavenly things. Set your mind on things above. in the Old Testament there is a beautiful passage about a dream that Jacob had as he was sleeping under the stars with a stone for a pillow the dream went something like this a stairway was set on the ground with its top reaching to the sky and God's angels were going up and down on it the Lord was standing there beside him saying I am the Lord 
the God of your father Abraham and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your offspring the land on which you are lying. Your offspring will be like the dust of the earth and you will spread out towards the west, the east, the north and the south. All the peoples on the earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. Look, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. I will bring you back to this land, for I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. The Lord is in this place. Feel his presence. He has provided a stairway for you, a stairway to his side and the name of the stairway is Jesus. Jesus is the way to the Father. He is the bridge. Through the gift of his life, Jesus made a way when there seemed to be no way. With each step on the stairway of faith in Christ, we are one step closer to eternity with him. Let that imagery bring you great comfort tonight. Inhale and exhale. Rest. Remain. You are within his reach. Heavenly Father, full of kindness and compassion, please bring comfort to your child tonight. Please remind them that they have been given direct access to you, like the stairway that Jacob dreamed of. They have a stairway through your son, Jesus. Thank you so much for allowing your children to reach you any time, day or night. Thank you for always being within reach. In Jesus' name, Amen. Return to your breath, noticing how it moves in and out, how it nourishes you. You don't need to try to do anything, just be and just breathe. Paul writes, there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus, and because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving Spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. Breathe this in, for those who belong to Jesus and out there is no condemnation. Breathe in for those who belong to Jesus and out there is no condemnation.
thank you for the forgiveness and reconciliation you have given us through Christ thank you that no one can bring a charge against this child your children are free and clean in Jesus with nothing to fear thank you for giving us the spirit to help us walk in newness of life let your child hear and believe these words tonight may these words lead them into rest that is deep and nourishing and sweet renew them as they trust in you we ask this in Jesus name amen Paul says letting the spirit control your mind leads to life and peace so let the Holy Spirit dwell in your mind now and ask for life and peace Paul says you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves instead you received God's spirit when he adopted you as his own children now we call him Abba father for his spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children picture yourself as a child with a good father your father doesn't want you to live in fear your father doesn't want you to keep working endlessly hard to please him your father doesn't treat you like a cog in a machine or a servant to do his bidding your father chose you and he runs after you your father treasures you and delights in you your father forgives you time after time and nothing you can do changes the way he feels about you he's not a distant father to you he's he's your dad the one who always loves you and will never disown you father God thank you for adopting this child to be your child your beloved child and for giving them your spirit may your spirit speak to them now and let them feel your tender love may your spirit speak comfort to them and let them know they are your child forever Paul says and since we are his children we are his heirs in fact together with Christ we are heirs of God's glory but if we are to share his glory we must also share his suffering yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later for all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are against its will all creation was subjected to God's curse but with eager hope the creation looks forward to the day when it will join God's children in glorious freedom from death 
and decay. For we know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. And we believers also groan. Even though we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of future glory, for we long for our bodies to be released from sin and suffering. We too wait with eager hope for the day when God will give us our full rights as his adopted children, including the new bodies he has promised us. We were given this hope when we were saved. Imagine a barren landscape. Plants struggle to grow. Rains come too rarely or all at once. The sun is too weak or too strong. Animals fight for food and for dominance. Now, picture the landscape transforming. A gentle sun, a gentle rain, soil growing rich and soft, seeds sprouting in what once was a desert trees offering towering shade and nourishing fruit a lion lying peacefully with a lamb enough for everyone families living together in harmony the cosmos flourishing every part doing what God created it to do This is the future glory God has planned. The kingdom of peace and wholeness, where the curse is reversed in the hints of new life and freedom we've experienced in the Spirit, will come in their fullness. God, we join with all creation and eager expectation of this day when you will bring the full glorious freedom from death and decay may your spirit bring more and more of the first fruits of this kingdom into our lives and our world even now Paul goes on what shall we say about such wonderful things as these if God is for us who can ever be against us since he did not spare even his own son but gave him up for us all won't he also give us everything else who dares accuse us whom God has chosen for his own no one for God himself has given us right standing with himself who then will condemn us no one for Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us and he is sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand pleading for us can anything ever separate us from Christ's love does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or even threatened with death as the scriptures say for your sake we are killed every day we are being slaughtered like sheep no despite all these things 
overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us and I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love no power in the sky above or in the earth below indeed nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord gracious and powerful God thank you for these powerful promises if you are for us no one can stand against us every accuser will fall your spirit intercedes for this child your son pleads on this child's behalf and you have promised that nothing can ever separate this child from your love your love is not like human love which fails your love never fails help this child to trust you even though suffering and trials will come help this child to feel the assurance of the spirit within them letting them know that they are yours forever God I ask now that you will be with your child as they sleep through this night please give them peaceful dreams restore their mind and their spirit and wake them in the morning to a new day that you have made that they may rejoice and be glad in it that they may join in the work of bringing your peaceful kingdom to earth and the power of the Spirit in the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit amen